Hello, all you wonderful people. I'm coming to you from my new spare bedroom. It's gonna be a guest room and a medium, midi, medium room, so we can watch movies and things like that. But I've got to get a thing that hangs from the ceiling in order to get the camera to line up with the oh, screen over there. And so, got until Thanksgiving, uh, but done a lot of work but you can't tell it and now my computer's post construction isn't working and so i trying to reboot it from a past date uh, some of you were asking me a question about do i think that the person i was talking about before that was giving us a hard time has to do has is having anything to do with the chickens and the answer to that is i'm not sure but there is more going on than um, just that. It's been about a year, and so I think he's probably given up. I can't imagine why he has not given up yet. Um, but all his stuff was just really just making us aware that he was around. Um, it was not scary in any means it was not i uh, never felt really in danger except for the time i got caught between the house and him um that time um i did not react with uh <laughs> with uh fear i reacted with anger but um i chased him down the road but i didn't catch him i don't know what i'd done with him if i'd got caught him hard telling i may not be sitting here talking to you uh, but, um, a weird thing happened the two days ago. Um, got a piece of mail here for somebody that I know and knew from where I moved from to Arkansas. Well, Indiana to Arkansas. And... They had, they had their name on it, and it had my address on it. They're not supposed to know where I'm at. Um, my guess is um, I was a foster parent. And one boy I had, um, I had, got him when he was 13, and he will be 30 in March. But he's still psychologically very young, I would say teenager wise um he got into some things that he shouldn't have gotten into and then i had taken in a 17 year old that um turned out to be a con man and i adopted him though um he has since cut off ties. And so then he tries to get back when he wants money. And so I've cut off ties with him because it's it's not a good situation. It's not a healthy situation for anybody involved. And he had made a thread at one point, and I had forgotten about it, but my cousin reminded me. He had made a thread that he there were people down here that would hurt me. Well... Uh, my guess is that that piece of mail was not an accident. That was to get me going. Frankly, I don't care. So if you are watching this video, I don't care. Come knock on my door and see how I welcome you. Because I've already filled out the police report. Your name's already known. Anything happens to me, You two are going down. Anything happens to anybody in this house, your name's already on the police report. You'll be going down. So, don't even try anything. It's for your best and your best interest, if you're watching, to stay out of this. Okay. Now, on to other news. <laughs> um, we have not had any more problems since I did my stakeout. Um, nothing has gone on. The, um, neighbor hasn't had any problems that I'm aware of. Um, I did put some 
deer cameras out to see if uh, we can catch people going up to her house because uh, they like to park in our our yard and walk up the hill and go up there and we live on dirt road and they think not here um, we did hear car doors slamming last night um, we did go out and check it there were was nobody around. I don't know what that was or what it was. Um, but, um, no, I did not get to be, uh, 60 years old and did not go through. For those of you that have been watching me from since the beginning and some of you have come back, you know that I have been through some really tough spots before. And guess what? I don't scare easily anymore. Do I look like my hair is falling out? No, it's not. Because you guys are not worth stressing over. And I'm talking to those people that I think are responsible. And they're probably watching. Because this is the only thing that they can't be blocked on. Is YouTube. It's the only thing they can't be blocked on. So, you know, I guess you blew it. Also, when I went to Indiana, um, ran across them. I ignored them. They did not ignore me. They were shocked to see me. Um, so, I saw you. I didn't care enough to stop to talk to you. So, don't think you're going to wiggle your way back. If an animal is harmed, the police will know about it. You're not that hard to find. You're not. So that is just a private conversation that the rest of you are getting to listen to, just in case. Um, this is, uh, other than that, everything's been going well. Um, I got... The remodeling, I finally got the floor in this room yesterday. Um, it's, things were piled up and in the middle. Um, I'm trying to organize it. Um, that's my son's clothing. He travels for work. Um, he's a boilermaker. And then um, my other son, I got three. My other son's coming in for the week of Thanksgiving. And this is going to be a spare bedroom. And um, over here, I'm going to show you. Got a screen. So the idea is um, I have a Roku stick that plugs into the projector. And then we can watch movies in here. If if, if we decide to do that. Um, I'm not sure that that's all going to work out. I'm going to pause you for a minute because my dog is having a fit. 